Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Call of Duty have just revealed a load of new stuff coming to season one, and there's even some stuff coming that they didn't talk about in here that we're gonna be jumping into and talking about today as well. So stick around because there's a lot to get through in this video. The first big reveal here is that Jingle Hells, a holiday LTM, is coming to Cold War Zombies. This appears to be the leaked game mode that I actually was talking about in my video yesterday, which is crazy that literally within 24 hours there's already news about what this thing actually is and it's pretty much exactly as expected. We've got a mode now which is going to be a thematic mode just for the Christmas season with megatons wearing Christmas hats, plague hounds with reindeer, ho reindeer? reindeer horns, and presumably zombies with Christmas attire as well. They've also changed the map itself so there are now snowmen that are in the map which is a really really cool change and it makes me think if there are thematic changes to the visuals of the map will there be thematic easter eggs added it's totally possible that in this jingle hells mode they're gonna add something like for example you go and shoot the heads of all the snowmen around the map and some kind of explosion happens and you get some kind of reward or maybe it'll spawn in a certain type of zombie maybe it'll spawn in a megaton wearing three christmas hats or some kind of sort of silly goofy little thing that presumably would not be something that Treyarch would have to spend too much time on because it's just unlikely that they're gonna put all that work into to a side quest in an already limited mode, but it wouldn't shock me if there was some kind of secret little hidden thing in there that they put in basically just to give those extra dedicated fans a little bit of extra enjoyment from it all. The fact that this is happening in my opinion is fantastic news. I am really happy with the fact that Treyarch have basically listened to what the zombies community has been saying over the years, I think at least, which is that it would be so cool when the multiplayer community is getting their thematic versions of maps for Christmas or Easter or whatever, if we could get a similar thing and if we could just feel like we were being basically brought along for the same ride. And I guess now that we've got that unified progression in the game now, they've basically heard our plea and that's exactly what they're doing. So from me, I want to be emphatic about this. Double thumbs up Treyarch, love the fact that this is coming. Even if it is purely a cosmetic thing, this is a big deal in my opinion for zombies getting parity with the amount of kind of love that things like MP gets. That is nowhere near everything though, there is loads more coming including another mode by the way that's been revealed and some more stuff related to DLC 1 actually, but first let's focus on the weapons that are going to be changing. Treyarch are going to be introducing battle pass weapons into Cold War Zombies in Season 1. That means that all of you guys that have been grinding out your levels and absolutely smashing your prestiges in Cold War are going to be getting a serious reward for that that affects the Zombies mode. It's not just going to be an MP thing. If you grind out all those levels, you will be getting crazy progress through your Battle Pass because we know that the Battle Pass is going to be giving you things like tier skips and stuff like that, and so you'll be shooting through and getting yourself all those cool Battle Pass weapons. The MAC-10 is going to be being added in. That is a submachine gun. You've also got the Street Sweeper Shotgun, which is basically a striker. And you've finally got the Grozer Assault Rifle, and those are just all free new guns. Like, you can just get those, which is awesome. The Battle Pass will give you, like, legendary versions of those and of other weapons too, but those guns are just going to be free extra things coming with this season itself. Again, free content. I've got to applaud Treyarch. Love to see that. They are also adding, and I know this is going to blow some people's minds, Callings. Yes, they're actually being added, except it's slightly different because they're not called callings, but it's the calling system. Daily challenges for zombies. This is such good news in my opinion because it means that on a given day, if you switch up your playstyle just a little bit, you'll get some extra rewards and it will mean that the game will be more fun and fresh for you because you'll be being guided in different directions. Now, Treyarch, if you're listening to this, this stuff is only going to work if there's a reason to keep grinding beyond just like getting to prestige level a billion, right? Like there are gonna need to be some kind of things, something or other that we need to grind for and weapons is a good start, don't get me wrong. But we need some stuff in zombies that is like late game content to grind for so that doing these challenges feels like it has some purpose because if it's just XP, everything's gonna feel a bit samey, I think. It would be really awesome if there was, for example, uh, some kind of blueprint that you could only get from doing a certain number of daily challenges. Let's say you do seven daily challenges in the season, you get yourself a blueprint. That would be nuts. Like, I would love that. Speaking of callings, there are also new calling cards being added, which is no surprise to anyone. We've already seen a lot of those in the menus, actually, because it bugged out and showed them early. And there are also a thousand levels being added 
to the battle pass or to the like season progression pass thing. You already know how that works. I already made a video on it, so I'm going to skip past that one real quick. Cruise missiles are being added to zombies, which is so interesting because they're adding score streaks that previously weren't in the game, right? I mean, I call them score streaks. They're not really score streaks in zombies. They're not really kill streaks either. Salvage streaks, okay? They're adding new streaks to zombies. And in the season, they're adding a new score streak, which is an HARP, which is basically what looks like a blackbird to me. Now, if they're adding the cruise missile now to zombies, does that mean that maybe in a future DLC map, they'll also roll out the harp score streak with that map for zombies? And there'll be some kind of really unique reason to want to use that, like getting some kind of basically advanced UAV, except in the zombies mode would already be something that would be quite interesting instead of just relying on the radar ping. But in a new map, if it had like some kind of customized kind of unique usage, that would be so cool. And I mean, the possibility is there, seeing as they are adding score streaks already to zombies now, the precedent has been set. There's also another game mode that I forgot to even mention earlier, or at least a sort of limited version of a game mode, which is going to be Holiday Onslaught. This is not the second mode that I mentioned a second ago. It's another thing entirely. I know Onslaught is not the most loved thing in the community right now, and the fact that it's exclusive is a real shame. I think that we're basically all agreed on that, but there is a Holiday Onslaught coming, which is cool. I'm never going to be mad about even more content, so like thumbs up, but also it's just a shame that it's exclusive, man. There are two Onslaught maps on the way during the season as well. This is slightly lower than the number of maps that are actually being added to MP. So we've got Raid being added and then a Sanatorium for Fireteam and the Pines. And so I'm assuming that the Pines and Raid are going to be the map that are going to be getting Onslaught kind of versions. It's unlikely, I think, that we'll be getting Sanatorium just because it's Fireteam. And the second last thing I want to talk about is Cranked the second game mode, which doesn't really have a lot of information going about it right now. This is the image. I'll show you it on screen. Let me know what your theories are for exactly what Cranked is. And note here that Jingle Hells, the cosmetic thematic seasonal game mode, is a limited time in-season event. Cranked, on the other hand, is described as in-season. So Jingle Hells, limited time in-season. Cranked, in the season. Does this mean that once Cranked comes out, it's going to stick around? Well, weirdly, they do also call Cranked an LTM, so it doesn't seem like it's permanent because LTM means limited time mode, but they only say in season, whereas Jingle Hells they called limited time in season. So why the discrepancy? Let me know if you can figure that one out in the comments down below, and I'd love to hear your ideas for what Cranked is. My assumption, if it's anything like previous stuff that we've seen in Zombies and just in COD in the past, is that you're basically going to kill a zombie and then it's going to give you some kind of bonus. Like maybe it's going to give you a speed boost. Maybe you'll be reloading really fast. Maybe your actions will just all be sped up. And then you'll basically be put on a timer. And that timer will either expire if you do nothing or if you kill another zombie, it will kind of keep you cranked. Like, that's my assumption for what Cranked would be, right? I certainly think of that when I think Cranked anyway. Maybe I'm crazy, though. Let me know in the comments if you disagree with me, of course. And finally, there is confirmation here that we are not going to a new Zombies map in Season 1 because it is in Season 2 that we're going to be getting our DLC 1 map, which presumably, by the way, will be starting around the end of January or start of February. And that DLC 1 map is going to be Vietnam. This has actually already been teased in so many places. It's actually crazy. And what a lot of people missed is that they actually teased Vietnam as a location before the game even came out. But it's now pretty damn clear that there is no chance whatsoever that we're going to be getting a DLC 1 map in Season 1, which is no surprise, don't get me wrong. But Vietnam is where we're heading in Season 2. I want to keep this video nice and snappy, like No Nonsense News style, so I'm going to wrap this up here, but I'll be making in-depth videos about Vietnam zombies and all sorts of other stuff in the coming days and weeks, so make sure you're subscribed, like the video if you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.